The next thing I like to talk about is another material property called stress relaxation. So any metal or any material under tension or under force is going to have a certain amount of stress associated with that. And as you increase the temperature of this material, that stress tends to decrease over time. So what you end up having is a delayed permanent set. So for example, you take a piece of material, you stress it, you heat it to high temperature, let go, it's not going to return back to its original position. The amount that it will return can be directly measured in a stress relaxation test. So this is some of the data we have for that. In this case, we're taking sample material, stressing it to a level of 75% of the yield strength, holding a temperature for 1,000 hours at 100 C. See the beryllium copper and the steel uh, just have about 98, 99% of the original stress remains. That means they have very good resistance to temperature and will give you repeatable results when exposed to elevated temperature. Meanwhile, the brass is down to 41%. So this is why you never see brass used in uh, burn-in and test applications. Now, I could not even find data for aluminum. And uh, we know in marketing that if the number is not in the data sheet, it's bad. Next thing we're going to study is temperature rise. And we take the same uh, FEA model we did earlier that I used for the uh, stress and strain simulation, and now I'm running some electrical current through it here. I'm going to make a simplifying assumption that we have the contact heat sink at both ends, and we're going to neglect any convective or radiative heat transfer. And we have thousands of contacts crammed into a tiny space without much airflow in there. You know you're not going to get a whole lot of convective heat transfer or radiative heat transfer. Well, if we look at the steel, after about uh, 10 milliamps of current, you have a dramatic increase in temperature. Whereas the higher conductivity materials, like the brasses, bronzes, and uh, copper beryllium, you have a much lower temperature increase. So this gives you an indication that if you're using a high strength material like a steel, but it has no conductivity, you're going to run into significant temperature issues. 